I'm back. Rodrians for the Black and White Network. Well, this is that kind of thing we've got to talk about. we got to expose when we find it. Because this kind of thing is absolutely happening. Even in the red state of Florida where the great Ron DeSantis is governor. It's happening here where we've got our governor, Greg Abbott. This red state. You've got these woke political ideologies that are infiltra- either infiltrated or have already infiltrated things like your school board, okay? And how do they do that? They go in there and act like they are like everybody else, acting like, and look, they move into these areas where they know, where they know they're the odd person out, but then they can get to the kids, right? And they can start working on pushing that ideology even into areas of the country where you think you live that your children are safe from this crap. Okay, I hope Ron DeSantis, I hope somebody shows him this or he sees this article in some way, shape, form, or fashion because, uh, look, this school, this school board member should be gone. Why? Because he's went in there and he's gained the trust. And he blatantly admits, and he's on, and look, he's on video. You can't see his face, but you can hear him talking that there are woke members of the school board and they're working from the inside. See? See? You've got to watch this. Breitbart. Florida school board member brags about members being woke. We're working from the inside. Sarasota school board vice chair, vice chair. Tom Edwards this week proudly bragged that there are school board members who are, quote, woke and, quote, working from the inside to indoctrinate children, making remarks ahead of the August 23 primary as voters have a chance to flip the school board in favor of pro-parents and pro-student conservatives. They don't want, they don't, um, imagine this, I still can't get over this. Teachers do not, there are teachers that do not believe parents should have the say in what is taught and what their kids are exposed to. I can't imagine that. I, to me, if you believe that or if your mindset is that way, you have no business being in the educational field whatsoever. You've got no business being around children, frankly. Quote Here in the state of Texas, There are school board members that are woke, Edwards. Speaking at Wednesday's Support Our School event, proudly declared, quote, we are here. We're working to have your back. You need to know we have your backs. He continued bragging about how woke school board members are working from the, quote, the inside to advance these radical left agendas. And we're working in the best strategic spot because we're on, we're on the inside, working from the inside. It's from my point of view. And I spent not quite two years, listen to this, guys, not quite two years to earn credibility and earn trust. You sneaky snake. That is a long, slow process, but I'm not the only one in the state of Florida, Edwards continued, asserting that there are coalitions, quote, formed to protect protect what you sick f he continued seemingly lamenting that too many teachers and administrators in the machinery have accepted all of the pro students and pro parent standards embraced by the desantis administration okay that's what the people of your state wants by and large by majority so if you don't like it get out of the state get out of the state go to california Go to New York. Go to Illinois. But get out and stay out of the conservative states. However, he said school board members such as himself are, quote, not accepting it anymore. Good God, I hope Ron DeSantis sees this. All right, let's look at this. Have 
you need to know, we have our backs, and we're working in the best strategic spot to run the game on. My point of view, I've spent not quite two years to earn credibility and to earn trust. That is a long, slow process, but I'm not the only one in the state of Florida, and they need to tell you so they can feel a little better. There are always issues to protect you. See? You see how that works? The remarks were made at a community forum which was described as an event featuring education professionals providing, quote, overview of new curriculum that clearly seeks to whitewash our history. DeSantis-backed school member Bridget Ziegler, a wife of the Republican Party of Florida Vice Chairman Christian Ziegler, is among those on that particular school board and told Breitbart News that Edwards is among those who demonizes parents for voicing frustrations. Tom Edwards and radical liberal activists push a narrative blaming parents for the heated tone at school board meetings, claiming that indoctrination isn't happening and call frustrated parents who are fighting to protect their children domestic terrorists. Wow. God almighty. He and his radical activists proclaim to be part of the, quote, moderate majority. No. No, you are, in fact, a minority, especially in Florida, bub. In an attempt to fool the public, meanwhile, he's out there boasting about being woke, being strategic, working from the inside to form coalitions to advance his woke agenda. In a March interview with Breitbart News, Ziegler, who has remained at the helm of the school board, fight prior to the National Awakening explained that leftist school board members across the country adhere to a playbook to roll out their radical agendas in an attempt to maintain a monopoly in the education sector. When you get up there and you are an elected, you're automatically part of the association and they tell you that your job is to support the superintendent. It's not about protecting, supporting, representing taxpayers or focus on financial stewardship. It is very much about no dissenting, no very much group think, and get in line. She later told Breitbart News Saturday, there's a playbook, and what I think so many people have now realized as a result of the great parent awakening after COVID, the same playbook that happens in Sarasota County happens across the state and across the country. I mean, I'm telling you right now, I have heard of things right here. I'm in very rural East Texas. I mean, we're red as hell. But I have heard of things in local schools here that worries me. I mean, it just concerns me. You know, absolutely, without a doubt. Quote, it's largely based on indoctrinating local policy officials all the way down to professional development given to the educators and trickles down to indoctrinating our students with very left progressive agendas. The Sarasota school board race is of particular interest as it poses an opportunity for voters to flip the board. Of the five board seats in the county, three are up, including Ziegler's. Last month, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis released his list of endorsements for school boards across the Sunshine State touting them as individuals who will put students and parents first, fighting against CRT and radical gender ideology being injected into classrooms. His endorsements for Sarasota included Ziegler, Robin Mar uh, Martinelli, and Timothy Enos. Uh, so, so this person is out there blatantly inside on the school boards fighting against what Ron DeSantis is fighting for and against what Greg Abbott is standing for, and some of these other red governors we got out there, people like Christy Nome, right? Um, wow, I'm going to tell you, yeah, what I've heard about here just locally has to do with some gender ideology bullshit, things to do with bathrooms, and I, it, it's just appalling to me, uh, especially that you've got these schools doing this, and they know... By and large, this is a largely red area, and that parents, if they knew, if they understood, they would be pissed. Okay? They would be pissed. Uh, and 
you know, you got to be careful. A lot of people tend to assume, based on where they're at, they don't have to worry about this crap. I, I contend you need to worry about it no matter what. I mean, here you are right here. This guy is saying, I snuck inside like the snake that I am to poison your children. I'm woke. I'm pushing CRT. I'm pushing gender ideology. I'm sure he's pushing every letter that, that the LGBTQ LMNOP community has taken onto those children at that school. Wow. Wow. It's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network supporters. Be careful of what's going on in your surroundings because it used to be they were coming after your kids that were in college. Nope. Then it went to high school. Nope. Not good enough. And now we've seen with like all the drag shows and shit, all of this. Look, it's down to kindergarten levels. Younger than that. It's truly sick. I mean, it is It is just... It's appalling. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USAFIRST, all one word. USAFIRST, all one word. 25% off now. <laughs>